hey what's going on guys we have this question right here it's asking each suspended weight has mass of m uh, equal 20 kilogram determine the x axial force in the members of the truss and indicate whether they are in tension or compression so first of all in this kind of question we know they have given that uh, mass is 20 kilogram so it's acting downward these are the two masses and if I calculate mass it's going to be m is equal to 20 kilogram I have to convert into Newton so to convert I have to multiply this one by 9.81 meter per second square and if I calculate it's, its weight right weight is going to be equal to 196.2 Newton so this is my weight and from this diagram I know there's a force acting on it here also a force acting on it and here's this one is pulling so there's a force acting on this side so let's say this is a AX and this is this is BY or uh, BX and this is BY right BY and they are asking uh, find everything so we have to find every force members of the axial forces in the in the members of the truss and so if they, they are asking member uh, determine the forces in the members of the truss we don't have to calculate ax and bx by we just have to calculate inside forces so in order to calculate we have to first select the point which have two unknown forces forces if i take this one this point b if i take if we have this one unknown, this one unknown, this one unknown and so it's too many unknowns so if I take C it says this one, this one uh, and upper side 3 unknown but if I take this one, uh, one this one is known this is 196.2 Newton and this is unknown and this is unknown, two unknown so I better select D first and solve for this one so if I take D there's a force acting downward it's 196.2 Newton and this one only one direction we have this this is the only direction so let's say this is CD right CD acting in this side and we have this one AD AD uh, I take this one so we can choose any direction we finally we will find out if the answer is negative it will be opposite direction wrong direction so this is AD and let's so, so before I solve I can think about it a little bit so since we have this one vertical and this is horizontal and this is horizontal and vertical so in order to do that first of all I had to make sure which one I had to choose so if I take horizontal we have two unknown but if I take vertical I can only one uh, one uh, that's known and we have we can directly find it so to do vertical I had to know this angle this angle let's say this is alpha so to find alpha I can use this information uh, let's draw a triangle right here so this is alpha so if I want to find alpha I have to know this distance and the height right so tan tan inverse opposite over hypotenuse opposite over adjacent so opposite is 0 0.4 0 0.4 over 0 0.48 so if I solve I will get uh, 39 point Eight one degree. So this is my this angle. So let's uh, use sigma f y. So sigma f y is equal to zero in statics. Let's take a upper side positive. If I take that. One hundred ninety six two going to be negative. One ninety six point two. And we have this one. This is going to be a d sine theta positive. So plus a d sine alpha. AD sine alpha instead of alpha I can put 
0.81 and if I solve for AD I will get I will get uh, 306.47 and it's positive therefore it means the direction I have to take in is uh, right therefore I can say like if you see something like this it means it's intense and, and if you if you see something moving away it's in compression right so it's like facing each other so it means so for example it's going to be like this something like this so it means it's intention so we can say it's intention so that's uh, that's my AD and then we have this one here one is information known and now I can find the CD using this information CD is a horizontal axis so I can take Sigma Fy Fx is equal to 0 and if I take this direction positive and so this one CD is in the positive direction so CD positive and it's going to be AD cos alpha uh, CD is positive but AD cos alpha is negative because it's moving in the opposite direction so negative here and it's a AD AD cos alpha and we have found AD already and these are the only two horizontal forces acting on D so this is equal to 0 if I solve for CD I will get I will get CD since CD is positive and 235 Point four two. This is my answer. This and this is Newton, right? This is Newton. So if I get this answer, and since the answer is positive, so it means the direction I have taken is right. And this is moving away. Think about it, line and moving away from this line, it means it's in compression. So we have found C D. So we have found all we can find from here, from D. Now we have to move another point. There is only two unknown. If I take A, it it means we have we know AD, but we don't know AC, we don't know uh, AB, we don't know AX. Three unknown. This is three uh, actually four unknown, and this is if I take C, we know CD already, and we know we don't know AC yet, but we we don't know AB but it's only two unknown right so it's better to select this point so this is one part so I'm taking the A uh, B C point now so C point there's a weight acting downward it's 196.2 and we have CD acting on it so since so CD is act, like CD has two direction this side this side it's in compression so it's going to be acting this side to this one and we know that is 235.42 also we have AC acting from here and this uh, this one acting from here this is B, BC so let's solve this one so first of all I have to think a little bit before solve before for example if I take a horizontal we have two unknowns if I take vertical I have only one unknown, on, unknown that says here so it's easy to find out so let's take vertical first so it's going to be f y y direction is equal to zero in statics if I takes take upside positive and solve for this one it's going to be minus uh, since I take this direction it's going to be minus AC sine theta so I have to know the angle this angle right here 
so to find this angle so this is the angle right to find this angle I can use this this distance and the height so it's gonna be theta is gonna be equal to tan inverse uh, opposite over adjacent so opposite is 0 0.4 over 0 0.16 so if I solve for this one I will get I will get 68.2 degree so this is my angle for this one so I can say it's minus AC sine 68.2 degree and then so this is one of the vertical axis and uh, the other one is weight acting downside so it's negative 196.2 is equal to 0 so if I solve for AC AC I will get 211.31 and it's negative so it means uh, I have take, took the compression direction so if you see this is I took this compression it means if you see something acting on it and that that means it's compression because it's like one of this kind so it means compression uh, my assumption is wrong the direction is actually opposite side because it's negative therefore I can say this is 211.31 tension Newton tension So this is my answer for AC. So since we have the answer for AC, I can find the BC using that, and I have to take what uh, horizontal components. So let's see. Uh, sigma FX is equal to zero in statics, and if I take this one, this direction positive, and solve for this one, it's going to be BC is going to be positive because that's acting in the positive direction. 230 minus 235 point. Four two, and it's going to be AC cos theta, and it's going to be negative. Negative AC cos theta, and we have found the theta already here. This is equal to zero. So if you apply, we know AC, and we uh, we have found the theta here. And if you apply for this one and found the BC, BC is going to be equal to three hundred and. 13.89 so since the answer is in positive it means this direction is right therefore we know this is uh, if if you see something acting on it it means this is one of this kind therefore we know this is compression Newton compression so we have found all the possible forces on C now let's move to the other one so we have we have found AD this uh, we have found AD here we have found CD this one and we have found AC this one and we have found BC the only thing left is here AB uh, if you see movement or if you take movement around B we have too many unknown forces like we have two unknown forces and to solve it right so we have if you see a we have only one now now I mean if you take around B it's all or it's like three a B and B X B Y three and if you take around a we have only two unknown so it's take better to take around a and if you see a D is acting in this direction AD yeah AD is acting on this direction and we have found it 306.47 and also AC is acting on AC is acting on this direction and we have found it 211.31 also a B that's what we have that's what we have to found find <coughs> and since that is this direction we can so also we have a x acting in this direction it's a it's a horizontal force 
so since we before we do this let's think about it what we can do so it's better to check the vertical axis because if we take vertical axis we don't have to deal with ax because ax x is horizontal so let's do the do the vertical axis so if we take vertical axis fy is equal to since uh, this is acting on this direction we know this is ad ad this is alpha so it's going to be sin alpha ad sin alpha ad sin alpha and this one is ac sin theta and this is acting downside so it's a negative so sigma if I zero so this is if I take upside positive this is let me write it clearly okay so it's going to be minus minus a d sin alpha because it's acting down and uh, we have ac minus ac sin theta sin theta because it's also acting downside and uh, we have to find ab ab i took down direction so i put ab also negative and it's it's going to be and to find that one i have to know this angle this is going to be theta too because if you see uh, the distance is similar and the height is similar so if i calculate the tan uh, tan inverse this one uh, it's going to be same answer therefore i can say it's going to be a b sin theta a b sin theta these are the three vertical forces we have so if I calculate that one equal to zero and we know AD we have found AD already we have found AC already if I plug it in and find the AB value it's going to be 422 Newton 422.64 Newton and if you look at this from this look I can say this is a negative I'm gonna get according to my direction but uh, therefore I know the direction I have chosen is wrong and it should actually act upside so this is the true direction for a B so this is the true direction for a B it should ups, uh, act ups, upside therefore uh, actually we know this if this upside is going to be like this it's a compression if this is like this it's a tension but this is this is not here so this is the one so we know this is a compression so a b is going to be 422.64 newton and its compression so this is my final answer so according to the question each suspended weight has mass and determine the axial forces in the members of the truss uh, truss and indicate whether they are in tension or compression so they are just asking the members of uh, axial forces in the members of the truss so it means we have to calculate these these are uh, these only we don't have to do b a x b x b y because it's not in the in the truss right so but we can find it easily that one easily too since we have all this information it's same approach from this one you can uh, you can put the horizontal axis and find the a x and also b x now for the bx and by we have only two unknown forces so we can find bx and by easily so that's how we do i hope you guys understand everything and thank you for watching